KP's Kingdom cooking with KP and today I'm going to show you one of Kylie Kwong's recipes. It is stir fried hockey and noodles with chicken and oyster mushrooms. Really nice and easy to do and uh, quite affordable. Now I do keep oyster mushrooms uh, in the cupboard believe it or not. First I'm going to make a marinade. I'm going to add in around about half a teaspoon's worth of sesame oil, about a tablespoon's worth of Xiaojing wine, a tablespoon of a good quality soy sauce, and a tablespoon of white sugar. Now, nice and easy that one, isn't it? All we have to do now is stir that up, and we'll cover that and put that into the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. All right, that's all you really need is 30 minutes. Leave it a little bit longer, it works out even better. So we've just made up our marinade with those four little items just like that. Give that a stir, just like that. And as I said, we're gonna refrigerate it. Now, this dish, believe it or not, just came out of absolute nowhere. We're trying to work out what we're going to uh, have for dinner. And I've got this little recipe book here of Kylie Kwong's and I had all the ingredients ready to go. Okay, so here I've got one onion, a little bit of peanut oil, my wok. I'm going to give that a bit of a stir through like that. We want to get these a little bit softened, make them a little bit opaque. And look, I don't mind a little bit of extra brown on my onions at all. It just gives it that uh, little bit more of an intense fire type taste so we're going to cook those off about five to six minutes ish like that and all we have to do now i'm going to remove those out of the wok and set those aside for a little bit later on they're cooked to exactly where i want them take those out okay now a little bit more peanut oil in our wok and we can now put our chicken in now what i've done there is i've got some chicken thighs and i've got about four five chicken thighs and i've cut them at around about 10 millimeter wide strips or three eighths of an inch for the imperial people and we did the marinade you've seen that really simple we're going to cook these off in a couple of little batches around about six to seven minutes in total okay and we're going to cook these ones all the way through we're not going to do what we normally do and that is cook them around about sort of 90 percent of the way through because the very end of this dish takes no time at all to come together so just keep stirring those around and around from time to time make sure we get every edge with a nice bit of ac on there all right and uh, if you haven't tried cooking something like this before you don't know what you're missing all right now in the meantime I've got a can of oyster mushrooms. I've strained those and I've sliced those up. Yes, you can get oyster mushrooms in a can. If you want to use fresh, by all means, do so. But if you have these in the cupboard, you can just create something out of absolutely nothing on a weeknight. Okay, so we're going to remove that chicken now. That's all cooked up nice and well. And we're going to put that into a clean bowl, of course. All right, makes you uh, end up doing a little bit more washing up at the end of the night, but look it's uh, safer that way so here's my oyster mushrooms they're all going in and as you can see they're nice little thin strips around about the same sort of thickness as our chicken thigh strips that we've just cooked now i'm going to add in a little bit of garlic there around about a clove's worth of garlic that can go straight in okay nice and easy and I'm also going to add in a little bit of sesame oil, about another half a teaspoon's worth that can go in. I'm also going to add in a little bit of soy sauce, two tablespoons worth, and two tablespoons worth of Xiaojing wine. All right, nice and easy. So just keep stirring those around and the flavors will start coming together. Here I've got a tablespoon's worth of white sugar. I'm using a caster sugar because it melts down nicely okay now the next thing i'm going to add in is going to be around about all of our onions just like that okay they can go straight in and uh, i'm sorry i filmed this a couple of weeks ago and i'm struggling to remember what i actually put into this and i'm trying to read the recipe as i am narrating but uh in total we uh, also add in a tablespoon's worth of malt vinegar and that is going to be getting close to it. And we're also going to add in around about another two tablespoons worth of soy sauce, right? So all we have to do now is get 
everything put together. Mrs. KP's on the other side of the kitchen separating our hockey and noodles. We buy those uh, sort of little packet ones, the little uh, ones you just put in some hot water and uh, separate. In goes the hockey and noodles. And all we have to do now is just mix and heat everything together. And before you know it, you've got this amazing stir-fried hockey and noodles with chicken and oyster mushrooms. How easy was that to do? Also quite a budget type meal. We have to do now is serve that up. I'm going to put a little bit of nicely chopped spring onion straight over the top because it looks good and tastes even better. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, hit that like button. It gives me confidence. Should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. I'm just going to add in a little bit of coriander there as well. Please share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media. Hit that notifications bell. You'll be notified every time a new video goes up. Leave a comment i love reading and i love responding to them but in the meantime if you want to learn how to make kylie kwong's stir fried hockey and noodles chicken and oyster mushrooms and other amazing recipes you need to uh, come join the family my family hit the subscribe button you'll never miss another one of my videos again i'm off to uh, eat this mad dish and i will catch you next time bye